You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Buckle up, people. Buckle up. Here we go. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. 2023 is right around the corner. We're getting into it today, ladies and gentlemen. We're answering your questions. We're addressing the obvious question, what is residential real estate going to look like next year? This is Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. I'm Todd Tremonti. We have a full studio today on this Christmas Eve show. If you're out there, if you're listening, hope you have a great holiday. Hope you're spending time with your family, eating your favorite foods. Hope you're enjoying the giving and getting of gifts. And we're not just talking about wrapped up expensive things. Now, those can be fun too, but I hope you're getting the greatest gift, uh, which is a life of purpose and meaning and some time to celebrate that with people that you love. And uh, that's what it is about. I find Ian and Courtney, that often people say the phrase, that's what it's all about. And it turns out that what they're referring to as what it's all about is actually, in fact, not what it is all about. That's what it's all about. There it is. Uh, Like, you know, it's all about good cleats before a game. You're like, no, it's just not, that's not even close to what it is, quote, all about. So for me and my family and our home, it's about a life of purpose and meaning and following Jesus and this holiday right up there with Easter is just about as exciting as it gets that, that God loved us so much that it became a man that he entered the world as a humble baby in a place that no one expected anyone of importance to come from, um, and lived a life of unbelievable adventure and invites us to a life just like that of adventure and in purpose and meaning and risk and danger and excitement and eternal impact. And that's what we're celebrating at our house, the baby Jesus, the Christ child, that God loved us enough to become a man, to live a life with a perfect example for us and to die uh, and pay a debt that we all owe. That's what I believe. Um, And it's it's the most incredible thing. So we talk to our kids a lot around this season about the anticipation that God's people had leading up to this moment where he enters the world. He humbles himself to be a man and enters the world. That's what we're celebrating. I hope you get a piece of that. I hope you get some of that. If you've ever liked to talk about that, I'd love to talk with you. Otherwise, I hope it's this joyous time at your home. We're going to get into it here in a second. But also, Christmas crackers and presents, right? Yeah. There's Ian, ladies and gentlemen. Santa's coming in town. Santa! Oh, my God! <laughs> Loves the holiday season. Giant inflatables in the front yard. And the spicy pretzels that David Goss and his wife, beautiful wife, Katha make. That's what it's oh, all about. Man, it's so good. I like the cookies. I like the traditions. I like the lights. I love the music. My girls and I love the music especially. Are you familiar with the English Christmas cracker, Todd? Well, when you say cracker, I think you mean cookie, and I don't know of one that is referred to as the English cracker. The English Christmas cracker is on the table during Christmas lunch, and it is a... Hold on. Lunch is the meal in the middle of the day? Yeah. Because I never know with you guys. Christmas lunch, dinner, whatever. Uh, it is a, an, an object that has a, a popper inside of it and you hold onto oh, one end of it's it. It's like a fire and you cra- And you, the other person holds it. And then inside the Christmas cracker is a little uh, paper party hat. There's normally a joke in there. And then there's also a cruddy little gift of some So type. it's like April Fool's Day, but... And then we all wear our Christmas. Christmas hats together. We tell the jokes and we, uh, we eat a, a nice traditional English I feel lunch. like that was such a smooth transition coming out of starting the show with a short presentation of the gospel. I think you just, I, like it couldn't have been smoother or more meaningful. Folks, we hope you have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hope you're enjoying your time with people that you love. We are here to talk all things residential real estate in this first segment of the show. As always, is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his mortgage lending team over at Cardinal Financial. I know it is Christmas Eve, but if you have mortgage needs, you're going to want to write this down and check with him when the time is right. 
Uh, you can go to his website at patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. You can also give him a call, 972-728-3420. Uh, NMLS number 308804, keeping it legal here on Texas Real Estate with people's official license numbers and such. But if you need mortgage help, uh, you need to call Patrick Glaros and his team. That's what my wife and I do. That's what you should do, patrickglaros.com. If you have questions today, we are thrilled to get them and answer those for you. 214-310-0008. Or as always, just Google my name, Todd Tremonti, or go online to toddtremontiteam.com. That's toddtremontiteam.com. If you ever try to find us and have a problem with that, just Google my name. And if you come even remotely close, you'll find one of our websites or Google profiles or some other profile, and you can call or text any phone number, you can fill out any form, you can click any button, and ultimately, we will get you to the right place and someone on our team will get you taken care of. Now, again, there, there's almost no day on the calendar, in a, in a calendar year, where people are less focused on residential real estate than today. But we're here. Tomorrow? Uh, well, today and tomorrow. Believe it or not, today's the day. And I mean that. No, Christmas Day, people tend to get a new iPad or a new laptop and they might, they jump on and start looking at things. They're thinking about next year. They've sort of made it through the holiday rush. But on the 24th, it's last gifts and cooking and all that stuff, which, you know, we're all, we're all dedicated to getting, getting done too. But my point is very, very few people are tuning in today thinking like, I'm going to make, I'm going to take action on all these ideas today. Just know that after today, when you think, you know what, it's time to make the call. It's time to go ahead and get the house on the market or talk about what it's worth or do the upgrades or whatever. You can always just go to toddtremontiteam.com and that way you can communicate with us however you like. Call, text, email. You can even fax us, folks. That's right. We make it easy. However you want to get to us, toddtremontiteam.com. But for today, we are going to answer some questions that we always get this time of year that have come up this week. I'm sure will come up this coming week. Um, as we still continue to help people buy, sell, invest. And if you're not buying, selling, or investing, simply just enjoy your home, protect your home, get the most out of your home, all the things related to a home in North Texas. So if you got questions, send them over 214-310-0008 or toddtremontyteam.com and we'll dig into them. But what we're going to spend a good chunk of the show today talking about is what's going to happen in 2023. Do we have a crystal ball? No. Have we been doing this for 20 plus years with a pretty darn good idea of how cycles work and what indications lead to what activities? Yes, that we have done very well for two and a half decades at this point. So we do not know with absolute certainty, but we have a very good idea what will happen in January based on what was happening in December. And we've got a pretty good idea what's going to happen all of the first quarter of next year based on what the Fed is doing, based on what buyers and builders are doing. And we're going to talk about that as we make our way through the show. I do want to talk to you for just a second about home serve home warranty. One of the things people think about at the end of the year is all their expenses. Uh, you know, what do I have? What do I need to protect? What am I doing next year? And if you don't have a home warranty, it's something you might want to consider. If you're buying or selling a home, a home warranty is, I think, an almost essential part of that transaction. But as long as you own a home, a home warranty is going to help you sleep a little bit better at night. And just know that the basic systems in your home are covered with a quick phone call and a small trip fee. Things like dishwashers and sinks and plugs and outlets and things like that uh, can be in good working condition or fixed when you have any issues very, very quickly. Now, Home Serve Home Warranty is who we have used and have taken really good care of our clients and us for years and years and years. You can find them online at homeserve.com. Christine is our contact over there. She takes really, really good care of us and our clients and anybody we send her away. Check them out online, Home Serve Home Warranty at homeserve.com. Got a number of questions that we'll get to uh, as we kind of look at the 2023 outlook. Uh, the first of that is going to be um, what what's going to happen with home prices that you see in 2023? Okay, short answer. Basically, what has happened in Dallas-Fort Worth since August is likely to continue until February. So let's give an overview of what's happened yep. since August. Yep, that's where I'm going next. And so for most areas of DFW, home values have been generally flat. 
And what I mean by generally flat is give or take a little bit. Some areas where there's uh, a lot of demand, home values have continued to rise just a lot slower than they were rising before. So maybe they've gone up, you know, hundreds of dollars instead of thousands of dollars. In some areas, home values have dipped a tiny bit. Still, probably by hundreds as opposed to thousands. There are some areas that had a just an absolutely dramatic slowdown and that they might have seen, you know, a two, three, four percent drop in prices in, in the near term. I don't think that's going to sustain over a long, long, long period of time, but it probably will through February until we get to some um, optimism about spring. That doesn't mean we have to get all the way to spring, which in North Texas is really more April, May. March is the beginning of that idea, but everything still looks miserable usually. The point I'm making is I think springtime will be the next kind of bump we will see towards probably more optimism. Now, that optimism might take another 30 or 60 or 90 days to fully trickle into the market. But I do think sometime spring, summer next year, we're going to see a rebounding of interest, meaning more buyers coming back to the market for one of two reasons. They've grown accustomed to the new standard of rates or B, rates have improved enough. They've found a strategy that would be effective enough where the buyers will keep coming back out. Their sellers will, uh, you know, have a more achievable approach to selling and uh, we'll see a little bit more activity in the market. And less activity is what has driven to our flattening and, and tapering of the market. There's nothing crazy or terrifying happening right now. It's all very logical. It's really the most logical market we've seen in years because when rates go up, basically borrowing money just got more expensive. So less people do it. People are more hesitant. They take their time. And while they're doing that, demand comes down pricing comes down a little bit, or at least pricing flattens out. And that's exactly what's happened. There's been no economic meltdown. There's been the cost of borrowing money has gone up and the level of interest from buyers has gone down a bit. So that's what we expect to continue probably through February. The Federal Reserve will probably increase interest rates another one or two times between now and then, but they've already indicated those will be smaller bumps and mortgage rates have actually responded pretty well to that general speaking and, and have been back down in very manageable ranges where prices have, you know, been, been more approachable too. So we've actually seen pretty decent sales activity late November, December, which leads us to believe the beginning of the year will be fine, kind of more of the same, but that there's the conditions are there for a decent little spring summer run. When we're in a market like what we're in now, how, how much more important does, uh, does local data become when it when it when you're looking at valuations and looking at yeah. you know trying to think through you know is this the right decision for for my family for my finances um, as opposed to kind of the big macro e even even saying like Dallas as a whole right but really narrowing it down to to neighborhoods and like areas of town and types of property and land and and all those types of things like how important does that really micro local yeah. data become? I mean, the answer is it's always crucial, but especially when we're at times where the consumer, the buyer and seller feel unsettled, uncertain, more expertise, <laughs> more data is better, right? So to be honest with you, our business model here at the Tatramani Home Selling Team is one of world-class expertise, full-time agents specializing and buying or selling, right? It's a dedicated model, kind of like a law firm or an accounting firm or a medical office. Well, in times where the market's just rocking and rolling and the, and the buyer and the seller don't think they really need a pro, they're like, I mean, anyone will do it. The market's kind of obvious. It's actually a, a dangerous market for the consumer because they just go with the flow and often get taken advantage of. Our business model actually thrives in a model like this. And we're, we're hearing from more and more consumers that are, that are saying that, right? Like. My neighbor's house has been on the market for 30 days and nothing's happened. I'm not using my nephew. I need a pro. Can we talk about that? Right? So it's not that we want a market like this, but this in this market, the consumer typically understands I need data. I need expertise and I need a pro that knows what to do with it. So to answer your question with the impossible to answer, you know, specifics, meaning how much more important, a lot more, like way more important in a market like this to get local data. And part of the reason for that is, 
the market's doing a lot more different things in different places. That was a weird way to say that. But like when the whole market is hot and you're like, it's basically the same things are happening everywhere. It's not wise, but you can get away with it easier just going with the general stereotype. In a market like it is right now, there there's not much of a general stereotype because there's lots of uncertainty. But if if you went with the stereotype right now that the market is tanking, which is not true, then you would miss a lot of opportunity. You would not know that McKinney is acting quite a bit differently than Allen, even though they basically run into each other. That McKinney d tends not to weather these flat points quite as well as Allen overall, statistically speaking. Fort Worth tends to see a little bit more price pullback than does Dallas. Housing inventory is higher in Fort Worth right now than it is in Dallas. It's a smaller market though. When you look at the total numbers, it's the numbers are likely to move faster because there are less of the numbers. So yes, you need to have a local expert to help you understand all that, to help you how to navigate it. Now you don't need to understand what's happening everywhere. You just need to have a very good understanding of what's happening where you want to buy or sell or rent or invest or, or, or make your real estate decisions. So yes, a lot more important now, but always important, always more important than people want to, want to confess, want to admit. So we've talked a lot recently and there's been talking the media and all this other stuff on, on kind of a, a recession, right? Are we in a recession or not? But what was interesting was that there was a chart that I saw recently in an, in an article that said that during the last six re six recessions, house prices only fell twice. Yep. So in 1980, they rose 6.1%, 81, 3.5%. 91, they dropped by 1.9. 2001, up by 6.6. .6. 2008 down 19.7 and 2020 up by six. Let me make a point really quick. Those are national numbers. Correct. Right? So this is back to the question that was just asked, how important is local data? Go, please go back to 2009. What was the number? Uh, 2008 was 19.7. Yeah. 2008 recession, which is what most people currently- Negative 19. Most people currently refer to as the Great Recession, not the Great Depression, but the Great Recession, right? Uh, in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I was actively working in real estate in that market. There wasn't a single neighborhood I worked in that saw significantly negative price drops. Now, there were there were individual homes, right. right? So someone bought a house, like financed the maximum amount on an adjustable rate mortgage. The next year, the rate went up a point. They couldn't afford it anymore. They foreclosed and uh, the bank sold it at a deep discount. That we saw, but across the board, I've lived in this home for 10 years and in 2007 it was worth 250 and in 2008 it was worth 250. It didn't go to 210. It didn't tank like Florida and LA and you know New York and some of those places. What happened is our market just kind of like went on pause. Yeah. So the reality is that illustrates your previous question perfectly. You've got to know local. <laughs> Nationwide we were down 19% because in Florida Home values are doubling and California doubling Northeast in the LA. I mean, I mean, in New York and areas like that, you just saw these numbers going crazy, crazier than our home values have the last three to four years. Now ours have been crazier than they've ever been before, but still nothing like that. If you haven't checked on what your home is worth recently, go to valuethishouse.com. In less than 60 seconds, you'll be able to see what your home will sell for, what it would rent for, and give you a confidence score. If you want something that's more customized, reach out to us, uh, just reply to the email that says custom valuation and a member of the team will give you a call and we'll have a chat with you and we'll see how we can best uh, help and serve you in that way, valuethishouse.com. Let me, let me just point one other thing out to you. If you're listening to a residential real estate radio show on Christmas Eve, you might want to get something done this year, okay? So if you're wanting to buy or sell or invest in real estate in 2023, I'm, I'm just telling you, you'd be crazy not to take advantage of a free strategy session with our team. We've got the best agents on the planet. I've hired them. I've recruited them. I've, I've trained them with the help of Ian and others. Uh, I spend, you know, five days a week working with and interacting with these folks and they care and they work really hard and they're full time and they're dedicated and they specialize and they deliver world-class value. You can go see 600 reviews on our Google profile. The fact is, our team members are willing to give you 30 to 90 minutes, you know, 30 minutes to 90 minutes 
at no charge, no obligation, no commitment, nothing needs to be signed whatsoever, and just simply talk to you about your goals in 2023. Almost every afternoon in January, we have blocked out on the schedule. You can text us right now, 214-310-0008, and just say strategy session. Or you can, or you can just go to the website, toddtremonteteam.com, and call any number, text any number, click any button, fill out any form that you want, and just say, I would like a free strategy session. And then we'll have someone connect with you and schedule one of those January time slots, depending on how many we have left by then, because it just depends. Uh, and then literally say to you, hey, what are your real estate goals for 2023? And then we'll help you think through them. We'll help give you advice, both to do two things. Avoid the massive mistakes that many, many, many buyers and sellers are making right now. That's number one. Number two, to take advantage of the unique opportunities that exist in this market, because they do, you can buy low and sell high still, and you cannot have to move twice if you're moving, um, and many other things. So those strategy sessions are there to do that. We will buy you a cup of coffee, a Coke, a bottle of water, you know, whatever you want, and just sit with you on Zoom, in the office, or if, if it has to be by phone, we can do phone, but we'd love to put a face with the name and get to know you a little bit, and understand your unique needs, and help give you resources. Even if you're not buying, selling, or refinancing, or moving, or investing, if you're just literally saying, hey, I, we'd like to remodel the kitchen, or convert the garage, or put in an outdoor kitchen, or whatever the case is, we would be happy to add some value in your life, to share some of our expertise. Someday down the road, you might need to buy, sell, or invest, and we would love to earn your trust and have that opportunity, but we're not a fit for everybody, and that's okay. We would love to add some value to your life in a free strategy session. You can take advantage of that by calling the office or just going to the website, toddtremonteteam.com, click any button, fill out any form, call or text any number that you see on there, and we'll get you set up for a 100% free strategy session with one of our full-time, world-class dedicated agents throughout the month of January. Now, this time of year, people also evaluate <clears throat> expenses and things like insurance. And I want to remind you, for years now, DP Lambert at Goosehead Insurance has been doing a phenomenal job increasing the coverage of team members and team clients, hundreds and hundreds of us, and saving us money nearly every single year. You need a broker like DP that can shop your insurance needs to lots of different carriers, but still be your go-to insurance pro year in and year out. They can answer your questions for you about filing a claim or a car accident or a hailstorm or any of those things. DP Lambert, has been my go-to guy for years, Ian's go-to guy, many of our team members, hundreds of our clients, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. You can email him directly, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Or of course, you can find his information and any of our pros information on the website at toddtremonteteam.com. Just click the radio tab. One really cool thing with DP was when he was in town for our pie day and uh, he comes to the office for it mm -hmm. so that he can actually meet a bunch of his clients yep. that he's never met with right. because everything's done over and the phone or technology. And he can do it technology. so simply on text. And yeah. it's it's just, it's a cool thing that he's doing to go out of his way to say, hey, I'm not just trying to be like everybody else, but I'm going to treat you a little differently. Like actually talk to you and care about you. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of, you know, hammering it out on the, on the internet. All right, folks, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing, or maybe just a remodel and you need some tips or advice, uh, go to DallasRealty.com or ToddTremonteTeam.com or just Google my name, Todd Tremonti. Contact us however you'd like and just let us know you'd like a free strategy session to talk about your 2023 real estate goals. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. We'll be back right after the break. We'll be talking more about what will happen in 2023 DFW real estate. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, HomeServe Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Welcome back. We're getting into it on the 2023 outlook. What will be happening in residential real estate in Dallas-Fort Worth in 2023? We've already told you a little bit of what. We'll get into a little bit more of why here in a little bit. Uh, stay tuned throughout the remainder of the show. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Hope you're getting to spend time with friends and family. 
Hope you're getting to have whatever weird family food traditions that your family's into. Not going to lie. My family has a couple weird ones. We pronounce some words wrong in our family, Courtney. I'm from a big Italian family that pronounces the name of that cookie that everyone knows as biscotti. We say biscotti. And I don't really know why, but I would never argue with my four foot eight little Sicilian grandmother. So I called it whatever she told me to call it. Sometimes my dad says basil instead of basil. Basil is right. And depending on what side of the pond you're from, there's an argument to be made there. But the point is, I hope you're getting to enjoy some family gift giving, gift getting, food, uh, time together, games, all the things you love to do. I hope you're getting to enjoy some of that. And uh, just know that we are excited in our home to celebrate the incredible gift, the greatest gift that's ever been given, which is that the God of the universe loved us enough to limit himself, to become a man, to literally enter the world as a baby, as a carpenter, as a servant. Uh, The Bible says, for even the son of man did not come to serve, to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many, to literally give his life up so that we could have relationship uh, with God, even knowing that we're born sinful and didn't, didn't deserve that. So we'd love to chat with you about that someday, if ever you're curious about what I believe, but I hope that you're enjoying your traditions this holiday season. Now, uh, I I'm do want to bring you some Christmas crackers next year. Listen, a Christmas cracker sounds like a good time. Um, I do want to encourage everyone tuning in right now, because again, you're a little bit hardcore. I respect you on Christmas Eve, listening to our radio show. And I appreciate it. Uh, I want you to get a lot more value from us. And the place you can do that is on our YouTube channel. So go to YouTube and just put my name in Todd Tremonti. And when you see my channel come up, Click that bad boy, hit subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. And what's going to happen is if you like what you hear on our radio show, we're doing two or three times that amount of educational real estate video and audio throughout the week. And all of that goes on to the YouTube channel. You can go back and listen to question and answer segments from past radio shows, uh, videos about different parts of town, buying, selling, investing, fun stuff local restaurant advice, all kinds of stuff that's relevant to real estate in one way or another in the DFW area. So just go to YouTube and search Todd Tremonti. If you want a shortcut, you can go to tthst.tv. That's just short for Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, tthst.tv. Or you can definitely go to the main website and just click the videos tab at toddtremontiteam.com. Courtney's been killing it, huh? Courtney's been getting videos up, radio show excerpts, She's getting the hang of it over here. Producer Courtney. We haven't come up with a full nickname yet. Crazy Courtney doesn't seem to be one she loves a lot. I looked in her eyes earlier. Most people wouldn't like to be called crazy. I'm afraid to make eye contact. Um, Most people, just in general. Don't get crazy. (laughs) It's like when you tell a woman to calm down. It usually doesn't lead to calming. Not just a woman, pretty much anybody. Especially your kids. Don't ever tell your kids that they're tired. Yeah, you look tired. No, 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 I'm not tired. Um, All right crazy Courtney. All right, here's the deal. That one's not going to stick at all. It's not. She might stick me with a sharpened spoon here in a minute, but I think we're going to move on from that nickname. Hey, uh, 2023 DFW real estate. We're getting into it. If you have questions, go to Todd click any button, fill out any form, call or text any phone number. We'll be thrilled to answer those questions for you. Check out the YouTube channel. Now, Patrick Glaros brings us the first segment of every single radio show and has done so for years and years and years. And the reason is he's been our go-to mortgage lender for years and years and years. So when you're thinking about financing a home purchase or a vacation home purchase or refinancing, now mortgage rates have been all over the place, but they've actually come down to very favorable range here lately. But anytime you have questions about whether you can trust the news or a website or a mortgage rate quote, just go to patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. Or you can call Patrick and his team over at Cardinal Financial at 972-728-3420. I do not expect you to memorize that all the time. So if you never, if you get to a place where you don't remember Patrick's info or any other partner or pro that we talk to, any other info, just go to toddtremontiteam.com, click the radio tab, and you'll get the contact information for Patrick, his mortgage team, and any other vendor we talk about, patrickglaros.com. Okay, so the question that I want us to get into here is, it's on everybody's minds, you just mentioned it, it's what's going to happen with mortgage rates in 2023? Now, before you answer that, 
I have some statistics and some forecasting numbers. Okay. I can read them to you before you answer or after you answer. Let's go after. Let's try okay. to get me in some trouble. Okay. Uh, the only lo- the only answer I will ever give you here, first answer is always, look, call Patrick. Call someone that this is their primary area of expertise. Clearly, we keep our eye on mortgage, but our primary area of expertise is residential real estate marketing and sales. So I'm going to share some thoughts with you, but I'm going to tell you, I'm not a full-time dedicated mortgage lender or banker, and Patrick is, and he's the one we trust. So PatrickGlaris.com. Now, uh, they're going to go up. That's the answer. Um, I could be wrong, but every indication we have from the Federal Reserve Chairman who sets banking rates, right, the rate at which banks can borrow from and lend to each other, which, by the way, is not a directly correlated rate with mortgage lending rates, but it usually is. The bank rate usually dictates somewhere down the line, trickles down the line, down the chain to mortgage rates. But it doesn't have to be exact. Multiple times in the last year, the Fed rate has gone up and mortgage rates didn't. The last time, they actually kind of came down a little bit. Now, that's to be argued over why, but ultimately the consensus is, People in the business of selling money, which is what a mortgage is, right? I'll give you the money up front. You pay it back over time. You pay me back a little bit more than I gave you, and you get what you want. I get what I want. That's mortgage lending in a nutshell. It's oversimplified for sure, but that's what's happening. So the Fed, the Federal Reserve has already said rates will continue to go up until we get inflation way more under control than we have already. So, so far, they, they think they've got inflation no longer rapidly climbing. What they want to do is get it down to two to three percent from eight ish percent. So now they're saying, okay, we this is working, but we need a lot more of it. Now they're saying they're going to keep rising, raising rates, but maybe not as much in such big chunks. We will not know until they actually do that. But all that data points towards <coughs> bank rates will keep going up, <coughs> mortgage rates will probably go up, but probably not quite as dramatically as earlier this year. But that being said, I would expect. All throughout 2023, mortgage rates to be about where they are now, if not a little bit higher. To put a bow on what you were just saying there, uh, Keeping Current Matters had a really yeah. good article, and they just they they simplify it really well, just like you just did. But let me just read you this this little excerpt from it. That the biggest question you need to ask when it comes to mortgages is to be able to is is why, and the answer to the why is inflation. The Fed has been making moves to slow the economy down, and real real estate plays a big part in our economy. So as inflation stays high, mortgage rates will stay high. And as history tells us, when inflation starts to ease, mortgage rates should begin to ease as well. So keeping an eye on inflation is really a big part of trying to understand what's going to happen. And they've told us what they're aiming for. Yeah. We've been around eight, and they want to get down to two to three. The question is, if we got down to four... Would they say we gotta we gotta let the economy open back up? We gotta get people spending because they've been trying to stop the spending, yeah. so that we can get a dollar worth a dollar again or a dollar worth ninety seven cents. I mean, that's kind of where they're saying is if the dollar loses three percent of value a year, we can live with that. We can't live with eight or nine or ten percent. So that's what's happening. So yes, so far the Fed has done what they said they were going to do almost to a T. Now at some point. They'll make an announcement and then change their mind before they pull the trigger on something. But so far, there's reason to take them at their word. So as far as mortgage rates are concerned, we expect them to keep doing what they've been doing, which was slowly and methodically kind of bumping up and then probably flatten for a while. The Fed has indicated that they're going to let them sit for a while, which means I know you're all expecting us to drop the rates again once things get normalized, but we're not going to do that immediately. That's kind of what that means. We, we will see, but that's my opinion. I've always followed kind of the pounds and the dollar yeah. exchange rate. Uh-huh. Uh It was when I when I first came over here. I, I came over here uh, initially in two thousand four, and it was right around two to one. Yep. Two dollars for one pound, and right now it's somewhere in that dollar and a quarter range. Yep. It's been as low as like a dollar and eight cents. Almost I think, one to one. one yeah. It was almost one to one. You know, a month or two ago. It's just it's pretty interesting when you see things like that and the effect that that really does have, you know, globally, but also you know nationally in the economy. Yeah, it's it. That's a 
that's beyond like deep dive monetary policy. I'm a student of that, but I am a, you know, I'm still getting my high school diploma level, not n nowhere right. near mastery of that concept. So we're here to talk about residential real estate and how that impacts you. And the short answer is the cost of borrowing will probably continue to be higher than it has been for almost the last generation of home buyers. I mean, it, it really has been highly favorable since the early 2000s. So you're talking about 20 years of, of, of just really attractive mortgage rates. We'll and play a game when you second, ready? Deal. You get to guess. Oh gosh, what you think? What the average mortgage rate? I'm gonna let Courtney play this game too. She can't see Ooh, my screen. So now. excited! Unmute microphone. The average mortgage rate for 2023, and the year-end mortgage rate for 2023. And we're gonna compare your guesses to those that was okay. put out by Realtor.com. Now, to be clear, classy Courtney loves it when we give her the microphone, and especially unmuted. unexpectedly. Yeah, no, she loves it. This is. So these numbers are from real, real, realtor.com's forecast. Loves that name. Well, let's see if, let's see where we are. So what what would your guess be? Let's have Courtney go first. Okay, average mortgage rate average for mortgage all of rate. 2022. No, no. no. We're going to go average. We're yeah, that's a great. No, let's do that. Okay, I've got both. I so that's 20 said. I said 2023 as a forecast. Oh. So 2022, what was the average mortgage rate across this year? 350. No, percentage. The, the mortgage, mortgage rate, percentage. The, the loan. I don't know what that means. Like this a five, is why I hate like the Like a five percent, like six percent. You're not Calm supposed down. to. That you get to be the neutral third party. Calm Great. Down. Like the the mortgage loan rate, five percent, four percent, six percent, seven percent. It's like when you say calm down, what what people hear oh, yeah, is so rage. Like, so like four percent, five percent, six. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll okay, go, first. go ahead. Four. Okay. Okay. The question is, what was the average mortgage rate? Yeah. 12 month average for 2022. Yes. Yep. All right. Let me just give a caveat because it's there, there's a, there's a risk. A number. There's a risk <laughs> to me looking dumb on the radio show. I can tell you with very good accuracy what it was for our clients. Our clients tend to be a slightly higher average credit score, slightly higher level of buyer borrower. But I'm going to say year on the year, it was 5.3. 5.5 5 according to oh, this. Oh, does that feel good? Yeah. That's pretty close. Uh, Feels all right, now, here to we be go. clear, in my head, I'm like, man, I was close. And Ian said he's like, two tenths off. No, so I, anyway. thought, I was good. That was very good. Okay, here's the next game 2023's Realtor.com forecast. What do you think the forecast, what would you say is the average mortgage rate for this upcoming year? What do you think it's going to be? I'm saying six. Okay. 5.85. They have it at 7.4. Yeah, so I, I know what they say, so I didn't want to cheat. They say by year end, 7.1. That's what they're projecting. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go that high. That's quite high. Yeah. Now, to be clear, when I got my real estate license in 2003, I had been flipping houses for two years before that, 01, 02. Um, in about 03, 04, Ian can look this up and check me. I could be a year off because that was a transitional time in my life, a lot going on. Um. Rates came down into the sevens and we went nuts. Like it was a heyday. At that point, people were flipping houses left and right. And to be able to flip a house at like eight and a quarter percent, because a seven percent primary mortgage was like phenomenally low and incredibly affordable borrowing, right? Now, this is what's funny. You no one expects you to know you're not a licensed real estate, you're video, media, publishing, all that stuff. But if, if I said to you, regardless of anyone's actual financial situation, if I said to you, uh, could I borrow $100,000 and I'll give you back one hundred and seven, would you do it? Is it worth the risk? No. No, right? That sounds like not enough. Yet when someone says to us, 7% mortgage rate, we've been so spoiled for so long, we're like, are you crazy? This is ridiculous. Now, to be fair to the people that are saying that, the payment that you could have gotten last year versus the payment you could get this year is totally different. But that is actually a pretty normal interest rate. Like when 
Yeah, because didn't our parents, it was like 13%? Yeah, in the late 80s, actually, when he was talking about the recession in the late 80s, the, the savings and loan bust, and the, in Texas, it was oil and gas related as 1981, well. 1981, it was 16.64. Yeah. That was the average. People, average. people were getting 18, 19, 20, 21% mortgages. Yeah, yeah. Really? And they were glad to get them. Really, from like 1993 all the way through until, we'll call it 2002, rates were somewhere in that. High six to low eight range. It was a really long stretch where that was just normal. And then they really sat around six until kind of 2009, 10. Then they began to drop down to the fours. And then we've been threes, yeah, low four since then. Like just until now. Absurdly low. And by the way, that's where <laughs> so much of the inconsistency in economic outcomes mm. has come from. Well, and, and that's what you can find articles is going to say all sorts of stuff because this website says that the average rate for 2022 was 4.09 percent yeah. so that's why that's why i say i think the nar out they're trying to show a dramatic increase in rates and cut and and counsel buyers sellers and agents on how to handle that the key the key to go back to though is like keeping an eye on the inflation is yeah. something that's really important because there generally is a correlation between inflation and mortgage rates. Yeah. And then just like a short Cliff's Notes version of that, what do you do if you're buying or selling? Like, I wouldn't wait. If I'm ready to buy and I have the money, I would well, not wait. That, that's the next question. That's kind of like, hey, give us a give us an overview. You know, what is the right thing for people to do? Well, we, we say, we've said the same thing for years in any market. And I just told you, I've been around through buyer's market, seller's market, stable markets, recessions, massive economic expansions. You know, I'm, I've, been, I've been doing this that long, right? Um, and the answer is, it is always the right time to buy when you and your family and your finances are ready. Do not let the market dictate your terms. When you and your family and your finances are ready. And if you're single, that may just mean you. But when we say family, I mean anybody else that might have some insight or be affected by your move. Uh, and your finances, meaning you've saved enough, you can borrow enough, you're comfortable with the payment, whatever your choices are, you could do it. You, you're comfortable. Don't let the market dictate whether you do or don't then. Talk to a professional. I recommend the Todd Money Home Selling Team. And a good professional can create a strategy for any market. When you and your family and your finances are ready, a good pro can create a strategy for any market. Don't wait for the market to say, now's when you should go, but you and your family and your finances aren't ready, or you're ready and you wait for perfect market conditions. There's no such thing as perfect market conditions. If you wait till mortgage rates drop below five again, guess what? Competition's gonna go nuts again, and now you're having to overpay for the house because of the level of competition. And because sellers are going to start trying to price their head six months, price their home six months ahead of the time, just like they did all the last three to four years, especially the last two years leading up until about February. So there is no perfect market. There's no ideal market conditions. Some are better than others. But the fact is when you, your family and your finances are ready, you find yourself an agent, a lender, a team that can put together the right strategy for you and you can win any time. And what I'm telling you is if you're a buyer right now and you're ready, I would not wait. Uh, while we were talking about mortgages, I sent Patrick a quick text message and I just said to him, hey, give me your thoughts on what's going to happen mortgages in 2023. So this is what he said. And he's you both used the crystal ball joke. So there's that crystal ball is still in the shop, but do you expect to see lower interest rate opportunities in the near future? We saw a nice drop over the last month after some promising inflation data. The Fed continues to hold the deck of cards, can shift the market in either direction based on their language and hints at future rate hikes or slowdown in the economy. In the meantime, high rates do create an opportunity for buyers to find a, uh, find a deal and can use things like a two-to-one buy-down strategy to normalize the payments as we wait for rates. Reach out to Patrick for all of your information yeah! if you want more info on that and what some of that stuff means. Quick translation on all that was rates are, lo rates are lower than we thought they would be right now. They're probably going up later. There are still strategies to use the high rates, which scare off a lot of buyers, to go get a better price on a house with less buyers to compete with for it. And there's some strategies to get your rate down, even though that's not the publicly advertised rate for everybody else. That's basically what he just said. So 469, well, actually, let me just give you the website, patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. Now, let me just slow down and say this. If you're thinking at all, in 2023, about buying a home, selling a home, 
investing in a short-term rental, uh, refinancing your home, protesting your property taxes, or making a repair or an improvement of any kind, updating a kitchen, replacing the roof, adding a patio, putting in granite or wood floors, any of that. I'd like to make an offer to you right now, and I think you'd be absolutely crazy to pass up on it. We call it a free strategy session. And what it means is you can sign up and reserve 30 minutes up to 90 minutes with one of our full-time, dedicated, world-class, specialized real estate agents. We can do that by Zoom. We can do it in the office. We'll buy you a cup of coffee, a Coke, root beer, iced tea, glass of water, whatever you like. And all we want to do is add value in your life. Answer questions, protect you from mistakes, point you towards opportunities, introduce you to other good uh, service providers and resources. And the goal is we'd like to add some value in your life. Whether we ever help you buy or sell a house, we're going to feel great about that opportunity to serve others and use our gifts to add value in the world. If you choose to buy or sell or invest, of course, we would love to earn your trust and earn your business if we're a fit for each other. But you can sign up for a free strategy session one afternoon in January. It doesn't have to be the afternoon. That's just when we do most of them. Uh, one day in January, no obligation required, no payment required, no commitment. You don't have to sign any contracts if you don't want to. But just to sit with one of our pros and get your questions answered and get some confidence about what your opportunities and options are in 2023, whether you're buying a home, selling a home, refinancing, protesting your property taxes, uh, improving that property, willing it to a family member, anything like that. All you got to do is just go to toddtremontiteam.com, toddtremontiteam.com, fill out any form, call or text any phone number, click any button that can get you in touch with us, and we will track that down and get you connected with the right professional to set you up with a free strategy session and help you feel really, really confident. Whether you want to do something early in 2023, middle of the year, late in the year, doesn't matter. We'd love to add some value in your life and make that easier for you. Now, other folks in our world that would love to add value in your life, PMR roofing. We get a lot of wind, a lot of cold weather, a lot of rain this time of year. You need to make sure that your roof is in good shape. Otherwise, you're going to start having problems that get really, really expensive. So call PMR Roofing or go on their website, pmrroofing.com. That's pmrroofing.com. You also want to think about title company. If you're buying, selling, borrowing, refinancing, anything, you want to close that out with a really good title company. Check out Republic Title at republictitle.com. If you need anything real estate related at all in the entire year of 2023 or beyond, I want you to go to toddtremontiteam.com. That's toddtremontiteam.com. Happy Christmas. Remember, folks, we only recommend professionals that we have had a great experience with or our clients. So go check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. Find them all online at overunderagent.com. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m., right here on WBAP.